Give me a minute here. And I should tell some title. Uh, there's a bit of a story time. Well, not a bit, it is a story time. So, back in the day, I used to live in Pennsylvania, right? Sort of convenient on the rules, my parents were, as you can say. Now I'm in Florida, you know, chilling, playing steep. I used to be like a really active kid back then. I used to like stay outside all the time, you know. Drink a lot of milk, so. I don't know why that is a part of this, but I drank a lot of milk. So. This is about how a crazy lady tried to kidnap us. So, in our house in Pennsylvania, we had a whole big uh, wall. It's basically our own rock wall. Uh, man, it wasn't man-made. It was big wall. Uh, it was a big wall. It's rocks on it. It was like a hill. We always climbed it, you know. Didn't even notice, but there was always a late. There's a woman's house up there. Yeah, so one day we were climbing, right? I uh, lost my pants in the process. So my pants were stuck up there. I was Luckily it was sort of freezing out, so I was wearing a pair of shorts under it. Uh, I was wearing sweatpants, by the way. And under that I was wearing gym shorts. So, I wasn't fully naked, you know. Kept on going up, because, I mean, I'm stupid like that. And, so we, we were laughing, you know. Having a few jolly good time and to give you a concept this was with my two cousins one was female one was male and my brother and i at the time we were all in the age group of eight i was eight the youngest and 13 my cousin was 13. so so we were up there and then we was we were up there and we heard a dog and we were like ooh dang then around the corner a nice little lady just comes out with the dog and she was like I heard you guys laugh and I haven't seen my kids in five years and I was like oh where are they because this was our first time meeting and sort of a f weird first time and she was like well they're both in jail already this should have been a red flag like whoa lady you did not raise your kids right but you know stupid eight-year-old me and stupid 13 year old cousin who were just like well and this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. I, or we. So, we were, so like, we followed her cause like, she was like, oh, you guys look thirsty. And then we're like, yeah, we are thirsty actually. <clears throat> and she's like, well, I can grab you a cup of water from mine house. And I was like, okay, it's pretty dope. This lady's actually gonna give us a cup of water. Thank you. Um, she invited us in, right? She's a nice old lady. Didn't think anything of it. Well. And then, this is where we should have just turned around. So we were, so we went in the house, right? And I was like, I have a husband? And then she was like, yeah, actually I do. And I was like, oh, where's he? And then she was like, well, she, well, he's departed. And he's, and then she said, you know, when he's always here, we always have sex. This is not, not. She really said, well, whenever he's here, we have sex a lot. And I was like, this is not, this, this isn't fake, guys. Actually, a crazy woman started talking about sex <laughs> to us. She was like, it's the best thing, <laughs> the best thing that could ever happen to you. And by then, we should have just, like, dipped out. I don't know why we didn't, but, oh, uh, yeah, we stayed there a little. She, she kept on talking. And then stupid eight-year-old me oh this is why uh, it was important to mention that I like milk I was thirsty for milk I like milk so I don't know imagine this an eight-year-old right. that you Gold just invited to your house just open just open your uh freaking fridge and then just took a gallon of milk out took a cup Holy from your cupboards and then just freaking drank the milk out of the Really, that's what I did. I just like gulp that milk down. Oh my gosh. Um. Then yeah. Uh. Then we went. Then she, then uh. Yeah. After that. 
we just sort of like dipped because she just started getting all weird like you know like she was like oh you boys want some want some like uh pixie sticks like i think that was yeah and then i those weren't pixie sticks guys or something else that you put up your nose uh for all the and i've done this before no no like not this drug but like i've snorted uh like sugar you know all that but this specific thing she was talking about it wasn't uh crystallite it was an adult version of crystallite it was cocaine she offered us cocaine of course we knew that it was cocaine because i mean it didn't smell like sugar or anything or it didn't smell like a pixie stick and i don't know what pixie sticks smell i know people that are in the comments will be like Oh, me, I'm pussy. Why don't you, like, take it? Like, bro, like, you could have gotten away with it. I'll... No. I... I didn't want to... I was a good kid. Didn't get good grades, but I was a good kid. You know, I didn't do that stuff. What a I'm only 12 right now, alpha. so... I'm never gonna do that stuff. Oh! Oh, dang! That looked like it hurt. Well, then, oh, I forgot to mention this. She had this little, like, hunting, uh, <clears throat> um, what is it? Like a hunting base, like, in a tree? Yeah, in a tree. And, yeah, she she said that when her husband would come home this after they had I sex agree. and had cocaine, they would just sit up there and hunt. And they probably, like, killed a bunch of humans, to be honest. <laughs> He was probably walk past and they'd just be finished getting their pleasure on and be high. Freaking drunk probably. And just shoot other people. Yeah. Oh, and also, a uh, bonus. Now I'm actually gonna save that for another story time. So, that's all the story. We ran home. Our mom was just like, we told, oh yeah, and then she told us like, you guys should come back because I need to do some yard work sometimes. And it would be really helpful. And then we were like, yeah, lady. Yeah, we definitely would. And I don't know what we were thinking. We went back home and our parents were looking for us. And then when we, they saw us coming down. Uh, so there was a street. We were along the street, right? And then from the hill, we came down to a street. And we uh, met up. And we saw our parents in the front lawn. So yeah, they were like, what were you guys doing? And then we were just like, mom, th th there's this nice old lady. And uh, yeah, she offered us milk. Well, I took the milk, but I said that she offered us milk. Not good, not good, and not I had good. milk. And uh, it was really dope and great. And she gave us pixie sticks. I didn't mention that it was not pixie sticks. And our mom was just like, guys, you, 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 you know better than to go into like creepy old women's houses. And then we were like, but she wasn't creepy. Literally, that was our excuse. And she was like, well, guys, next, it'll, if you guys go lost and like we can't find you, that's the first place we're searching. Hey? And we're just like, oh, oh okay. Uh, it's cool with us because we're never going to get, we're never going to go there again because you'd kill us. And we never went there again. Surprisingly, I mean, I was tempted once because I wanted to help a, a nice lady with yard work. <coughs> but we all know how that would have went. Well, at least someone with half a brain would know. Folks are really taking notice now. A new event is kicking off in the Tyrol and Salomon wants you. This run will test both your endurance and smart for sure. It's a lengthy route through winding forest with zero markings. So the goal is to think quick and aim for the most efficient route to grab that win. Uh, um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, that was the story of Crazy Lady. Now let's just get back to, you know, Steve and all that.
so would you guys rather me do streams or streams or uh videos because i've made i haven't made a video in a while and i might i might just be all streaming like you know also have a twitch um baby man streams that's my twitch uh Oh, I just sprinted. I just got reborn. Go to the vagina. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, I'm making it through. So, comment down below if you guys have any crazy stories of older women who talked about sex and offered you drugs. I'm joking, it's not to be like that. Good. Yeah. If that's really what you want. I mean, put it in the comments and I might read them next time. Oh yeah, and most of you, probably some of you in the comments are gonna be like, "Oh well, that well, she didn't really try to kidnap you." Um, I'm pretty sure that if we were to go there five more times, yeah, or like one more time probably, no, 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 no. while we were doing supposed yard work. Oh uh, yeah. Um. Bye mom, bye dad. You probably wouldn't see them again. Get reborn. Oh frick. That was not freaking. That was not healthy. Oh, uh, comment down below which one, which step is story time you guys want. The story time of stalkers at my house or the story time of how my uncle blew up. I think you guys really want the story time of how my uncle blew up because it was pretty dope. Not for him, but like, you know, like. It was it. Now I sound like a bad freaking niece, whatever. It wasn't dope, it was like. It wasn't. It, it was sort of funny, to be honest, it was funny. But it scared me. I was like, I, I, I haven't even got time to spend with him that much. You know, he was really busy. Oh man, Ready, ready, and... Scooby-dooby-doo, where are you? We need to fathom this. The fri- Oh, well, I just made it to the freaking finish line. Oh, I see the finish line. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm going to end the stream here since I already told my story. And I want to listen to some music while I play myself some sleep. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hold on, hold on. Let me do an ending trick, you know, for to end it all. Oh, no, that didn't sound that good. Hashtag KSI reacting. Oh, ready? Um. Uh, well. I did a late Ollie. Okay. That wasn't a trick. Here, let's try it again. Oh dang. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.